previously on the booth at the end. You must mark three people. What does that even mean? How many men have you approached? Just the one so far. Find someone who is missing and return that person to his or her home. You might not be cut out for this. You will have to become the servant of a higher power. What if I want more? Your entire religion? Wipe it out. I want to make a deal. No, you don't. I want to accept my daughter as she is. You want me to use the book on you? Yes. Things aren't going so well. We found plenty of people, but they could be anywhere. A lot of kids go missing. Did you know that? I've heard tell, yeah. Yeah, but once you look into it, it's usually their parents, a mom, a dad, after a divorce, just kidnapping them. A lot of time, the parents are, they're hiding. What's that like, Connor? Knowing some parents will go to such lengths to be with their own children. My dad would be here if he could. My mom kicked him out. So he put up a fight. Are our moms allowed to help us? No. No. Just asking. We're gonna start looking for people that are alone. We figure somebody may be looking for them. That makes sense. Why did my dad leave? Why didn't he put up a fight? That's what interests me about what it is you want. What? Why do you want a man in your home that won't do what he needs to do in order to get back? I got in a fight last night and I broke a dude's nose. I want to know if that was a mark. As I marked them, you know, so that's one, right? No. What do you mean, no? I broke his nose. Apparently, it's not worth noting. OK, so what is? Come on, you're the one that told me that I had to go do the thing. Well, I, I read the thing. And now I'm asking you, what do you think the words mean? It means some sort of wound or tear or something. I mean, if you're going to mark someone, you're, you're mutilating them, right? I don't know. I'm asking you. You're asking me to do something when you don't even know what it means? I'm asking what you mean by it. God. Love. People use words all the time. It doesn't mean they agree on their meaning. It doesn't mean they've thought through what they mean when they use them. So, when I say mark three people, what do those words mean to you? It means hurt three people. I mean, in a way that lasts, right? In a way that'll be with them until they're dead. And that man last night, his nose, you know, that should have counted. Yeah, I do. I mean, I rocked him, man. His, his nose was all bent. And it'll last until he's dead. If he doesn't get plastic surgery or something, yeah. And yet, it seems it didn't fulfill the requirements of the task. OK, then what the hell? What the hell? You tell me, if that wasn't a mark, what would be? You said I couldn't leave any trace of having vanished. Can't tell my husband. Just no trail, right? No credit cards, just poof? That's correct. I have an IRA I can cash out. This should float me for three weeks easily. Of course, they're going to try and find me. Well, my husband's going to panic. He's going to think things. Such as? That I abandoned him. I abandoned her. 
You might assume any number of things. Why this? The woman in my situation, some women might leave, just walk out the door, leave their damaged daughter behind, never return. A woman might. I wouldn't, of course. But he might think. Of course. If I do this, if I if I do what you ask, disappear for three weeks and, and come back, I'll accept her, right? Yes. I need to come up with a story. A, a reason, some some kind of a story for why I've left. For whom, Cheryl? For your family or yourself? I'm not a bad person. That's not really the question. Do you know what it's like to be tethered to someone? Care for them every day as if they'd get better because you care. She never will. No one can ever fully know the experience of another. Do you have anything bad in your life? Or are you just above it all, free from pain? Mm. No. I don't think I believe that. I'm not here to compete in misery, Cheryl. I'd never win. You have a heart. Want to know this... this thing. This... this unconditional love. Mm. It's a beautiful thing. But it's a terrible burden. What do you have? thing, uh, cleanse the world of these people and their beliefs. You will have to commit uh, slaughter, a public act of slaughter, in broad daylight. 22 dead, with others bearing witness. <laughs> what does that mean? A rampage of sorts, I suppose. You have to be seen doing it, the daylight part, I don't know. It's not really my, the details are up to you. That's strange. It is indeed. Killed 22 people, broad daylight. With witnesses. What happens if I start to kill these people and someone stops me? You wouldn't get what you want. Could it be them? The people you want to remove? Yeah. Public act, broad daylight. So it, it could be like, uh, when they're inside, worshiping or something? That wouldn't qualify as broad daylight, would it? Okay. But it could be them. Your choice, Jack. Your victims, your methods. What matters is 22, broad daylight, for all the world to see. So, have you approached another man? My fifth, the bar, at lunch. I smiled at him in the reflection of the mirror, sat down next to him, and started talking. Sounds like you're getting better at this. I am. He was pleased. Eager. What was it like for you? Washing your hands. Washing your hands. Something you do, not because you want to, but because you're supposed to. I 
Have you asked yourself what it'll look like in the future when you have what you want? To be loved. It might be something you want to start thinking about. This God thing isn't working yet. Really? Already? <sighs> Simple logic. I can't serve God if there is no God. Am I wrong? Mm, I can see your logic. Look, I've been praying. Nothing's happened. Give me something else. Just serve a higher power and become a true believer. What if I can't believe in God? No higher power? Look, if I believed in God, that mean I'd have gone crazy, put a bullet in my head. Why crazy? Who knows what I'd do? If I was God's, and God asked me to do a crazy thing, then I would do it because I'd be God's. What's a crazy thing God might ask you to do? <laughs> I don't know. Give up my possessions. Build an ark. Stay in my marriage. Just hypothetically, if God said to do that, stay in your marriage, might it not be worth listening? Well, no. So you're avoiding God for fear of being told things you don't want to hear? Who the hell wants God to tell them things they don't want to hear? I've got a pretty good idea why you're not finding God. Hello, Maria. Did you make someone cry? I wanted to talk to you about that. All right. Do I have to actually make someone cry? Yes. Could I do something else, like making someone happy? <laughs> I am very good at that. I bet I can make you smile. I bet you can. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. How can that not matter? I'm not here to be happy. What's the point of being here if you're not happy? Don't you ever get tired of it? Chasing happiness. What else is there, seriously? What else is there for us? Everything. But you don't ever feel sad? I, I do, but I don't wallow in it. It's a part of life, too. Right? You're not a very nice man. I'm not talking about what's nice or not nice. I'm talking about what is. What is, is. My mother is losing her life to craziness and despair. Don't judge me too hard for trying I'm to... not judging you. I'm just telling you the rules of the agreement that we made. Well, I don't like the rules. Then don't play the game. How do we start? Ask. What do you want? I used to want to know their morality. Now I, I just want, I, I just want to understand what motivates them. What about it? I want to feel it. What happens to you if you do? I don't know. I don't think you should do this. You don't have to help me. I know what you're doing. You do? No, you don't. to find someone to help.
don't. This is wrong. I'm not supposed to be here. Forget the deal with my father. I just... Things go back to the way they're supposed to be. You don't know how they're supposed to be. She's alive. I'm dead. Open the book. Open the book. What does it want me to do? You must make something something worth living for. If I do this, I might change my mind. It's always a risk. The question is, how much do you want what you want? So how will you make sure they won't find you? If I go to a motel, no matter how far, picture of me on, on, a, on a TV or whatever. It's gonna tip off the desk clerk or maid or, or something. The further away I go, the more people I'll see who might recognize me, ID me later. I just need to keep the disappearing as small as possible, as few people as possible. How do you go about doing that? Don't take my car. Mm -hmm. Just leave it in the garage. And then I'll throw them off at first. And then? And they'll think something terrible happened. It will help you throw them off. Distracted. God, they're gonna just worry more. That's not your concern. You know, I mean, okay, wait, so where to then? You walk out your front door, then what? In the building where the homeless lady lives. There aren't many people that live in that area. In the inside? I'm seeing it from the outside. What? What? You don't think that'll work? Did I indicate that? No, you're, you're writing things down. I, that, that's what I do. I, I write things down. Well, stop. It's making me nervous. Don't be nervous. <sighs> How are you going to get food without a car? You go to a store nearby. I don't know. I could help. What? I could bring you things. You, you leave your home. And seen by as few people as possible. And I could bring you things you need, food, whatever, to the, to the building. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't I? It didn't really seem the type to want to help. Would you like me to? Yes. Okay, I've been thinking about this idea of, of marking. Right, and I was thinking if, I mean, if smashing a guy's nose in isn't enough, what would be? Right? So where is your thinking led you? Like a screwdriver. Okay? Right, that, that would leave... No, no, a screwdriver would make a, you know, on someone's arm. If you did it hard enough, harsh enough. That's not what I'm talking about. Look, look, imagine you're walking down the street. And there's like a glimpse of motion out of the corner of your eye. You don't see what it is exactly. But before that little glint becomes a screwdriver, it's just bam, in your arm. And there's blood coming out of the tear or whatever. And, and it's that moment where, it's the moment where you go from startled to pain. So it's about the degree of pain. No, no, it's not the blood, it's the surprise. You were just walking down the street. This happened because I was walking down the street. I should never walk down the street again. It's, it's that thought. That's the mark. You've been marked like this, right? Yeah. Well, so this is your progress. You're finding out what a mark is. So you can stay as you are forever. you something yeah my nephew's anger issues yeah they seem to be fading good yeah he started to treat me better that's good yeah yeah i don't know maybe maybe it's just a temporary thing maybe he's just so nice when i pick him up from school he lifts his arms so high and he's like auntie Teresa. he's 
He's so happy. And I'm liking it. Uh, but I wanted to ask you something. He's loving me. I mean, I, I, at least that's what I'm, I'm getting. Well, that's what you wanted, isn't it? To be loved. Yes. So, what I wanted to know is, is it because of what I'm doing, the deal? Perhaps. It's often the way it works. Start to do the task, the thing you desired begins to manifest. I was just <laughs> thinking of, you know, a man when I, when I said I wanted love. Well, that, that could happen, too. But you asked to be loved. I just, I just want to be loved. Is that asking for so much? But a man is... I tried to tell you, I recall, when we made the deal, to be more specific, you were upset. Yeah. I just... I should... I uh, should go. I have to go... Gotta go pick him up from school. So, you know, if I stop... If, if I stop now, will my nephew's love fade and his anger come back? It's possible. I don't know. But it might. His, his love for me might be the thing that's calming him down now. It might be. Huh. <laughs> okay.